Now, Gary A. Wales has a brand new movie project to work on. Dark Forest is the title. Currently going through funding and then into the pre-production stages. And he joins us now to tell us a bit about what he's up to. Hello, sir. Hello. How are you? I'm good. I hope we find you one. It's good to catch up with you again. Yes, it's been a while. It has, and I mean, Rage has been doing great things. Uh, it's uh, you know, been winning awards and uh, can, you know, can be seen online uh, through subscription. Yep. So uh, that's one that's worth checking out. We'll point yep. everybody in the direction of all of your work at the end of this. But uh, an exciting yep. new project, and, and, and Nevis Studios are working hard to bring this one to the screen. Yes, um, Dark Forest. I'm looking forward to this one. This is uh, this is the first mainstream from me. Um, I am now moving away from topic. Uh, projects and moving into mainstream things that people will actually be able to follow a storyline and sit down and enjoy. Um, so. Well, you so the people have enjoyed Rage from a, a highlighting uh, a situation point of view. But right. say it was very much an awareness piece, and this time it is just pure storytelling. Yes, exactly, exactly. So, where does the tale begin? Um, the tale begins where a young girl called Anna goes missing. Um, and we follow these two detectives um, through their case to, to figure out exactly what's happened with her. Um, and it turns out that there is a serial killer and it's their their quest to basically find this girl. Um, but it turns out that she's not the only one. Um, so it's a, it's a suspense, thriller, crime, drama. Um, this one is shot in Scotland. It's filmed in Glencoe and Glasgow. Um, and then um, we will be leaving this piece on a cliffhanger um, as I am going to be producing a series on it right afterwards. And so. you are playing uh, one of the detectives, Danny, and obviously a harrowing time for any detective involved in the sort of cases that we're looking at here. So it's going to bring yeah. more emotion to the screen once more and, and, and test your acting talents, and I know that you'll uh, rise to that. Yeah, absolutely. I'm I'm looking forward to it. There's a there's a scene that I've written in that I'm really looking forward to. It includes my own stunts, which is nice. So. Okay, so we'll uh, hope they all go to plan. Uh, but I yeah. mean, you're bringing in people from uh, around the UK on this, which is why again one of the reasons that uh, we can have a bit of a natter about this because uh, I, I know you've been recruiting and I know you work with uh, some great talented professionals from across the industry. Yep, yep. We're we're um, we're using the vast of uh, the UK to try and obviously get this going um we've got some incredible people on this already um right now we have casted completely which is great um and now we're 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 looking at crew and stuff we have our director of photography on board we have our behind the scenes team ready to go everything's starting to fall into place which is really nice so um we are about to reach out to create scotland and screen scotland to uh get more funding um so hopefully we'll be able to get that as well you've got a crowdfunder which has seen people from all over the uk again uh putting yep. into the project yep so the the crowdfunder done really well it's now finished um we did raise uh, roughly about three thousand pounds on on there um we got quite a vast majority from america surprisingly mm -hmm. um but i think that was obviously due to my supporters and stuff over there in the states um but no it's uh they they done incredible, and I'm I'm very thankful for all the support that they've obviously gave me, and of course they believe in me as well. So that's great. They, they they've obviously seen Rage, and they've seen other projects that I've done, and they've obviously jumped on that bandwagon and followed me. So yeah. But again, this is all part of uh, yeah, the, the work that you put in. And yeah, I mean, you, you've worked in so many different areas, uh, you know, everything from the, the clothing line we've seen you know, previously through to uh, the work that you've done on a, a number of you know, film and theatre projects and uh, the, the TV work too. And again, this is all part of uh, it, wanting to, to really share in, in telling stories, engaging with your audience and uh, it really... It, Getting a, a feel for the actors, actors' craft, isn't it? Yep, exactly, exactly. I, and you know, it's one thing that I learned, especially on Rage. Um, Lara, that played my wife in it, she she thanked me because um, she says, you know, it, it's very hard to come across an actor that's also the director. So uh, she prefers that because the, obviously, as the actor and director, they know the story, they know how the other character should be, and it, it's 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 great collaboration so it, it's very helpful and especially with me directing this um so dark For forest is getting directed with me and heather um mitchell um mm -hmm. 
so we're doing this and then of course I'm going to be um, taking the lead detective role on this so I think have me be in that role and creating these roles for people it's definitely going to help in regards to the, the directing aspect um, because mm -hmm. I mean as you've seen from like Rage and stuff like that um, for example Colton that played um, Bailey that played my son Colton um, he, I had to work with him a little bit to obviously bring him up to his scene and whatnot. So I enjoy becoming their character as a director and helping them get through that process um, of securing and destroying that role per se. So, yeah. <laughs> and you can share some amazing scenery as well. I mean, you're going to be one of those uh, films which is going to end up on uh, uh, places to visit to enjoy the uh, the scenic experience afterwards as well. Uh, so you've yes. got uh, some glorious uh, uh, actual dark forests to run around uh, and uh, yeah, the access to, uh, to some seaside too. Yes, the Glencoe is beautiful. The location that we've chosen is amazing. Uh, we're actually, uh, we've actually got the the five cottages that Universal Studios and Warner Brothers used for Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. Um, so we're right opposite the uh, Hagrid's hut, so which is awesome. Um, I'm a, I'm a huge Harry Potter nerd, so I mean, I, I love it. Um, so yeah, no, I'm looking forward to it. Um, the scenery is going to be amazing. We're work we're working in rivers, we're working in lakes. Like it's gonna it's gonna be incredible. And where do you see this series running to? Obviously, you've already told us we're getting a, a, a sequel. It, it, it's, it's going to be a, a known run of uh, stories. But uh, uh, how big a, a project do you think this is going to be overall? So Dark Forest on its own. So um, this one, we're going to be looking at about 45 to 50 minutes. We're going to use that. And obviously, we'll leave it on a cliffhanger. Um, my plan is that I do want to make a series out of it. Um, I'm planning on doing five seasons run. Mm -hmm. um roughly about 60 episodes so about 12 episodes per season um that this one is going to be shot entirely in the states is probably up like seattle oregon around that coastline because that's when the where the clouds are lower it's rainy and you know it's it's quite darker up there for that kind of thing so yeah the the, the series is definitely going to be on the american side and you never know i mean the whole purpose of the of the this movie um, is to obviously get executive producers and potential distributors on board ready to go for the series. Mm -hmm. Um, so I will be reaching out to like Paramount Plus and Hulu and AMC and stuff like that and see if they they'd be interested. Yeah, well, I, I know that they've had experience of your projects in the past. I'm sure they will be keen to get in touch in future. And of course, you have some great yeah. contacts in the industry as well from the amazing work that you've done so far. So uh, where do we go to find out about all your projects? Have we got uh, a, a set place where we can find a link tree or similar? Yes, yeah, so nevastudios.com is where you will find most of my stuff. But, of course, through my, my website, garyawales.com. Rage is actually now available on YouTube. Um, It's on my YouTube channel. Um, It went up two weeks ago, so it's now available there for anyone that does want to watch it. Um, And, of course, my social media, Gary A. Wills, um, as well. Um, But, yeah, that's where you can find everything. And, and of course, IMDb. Yep, check out the details there. See the back catalogue and enjoy the work that is still to come as you're going to be a very busy young man as uh, as time moves forward. I can see that coming. Uh, always good to speak to you. Gary A. Wells, friend of the show. Thanks for joining us. And uh, we'll look forward to uh, more info on uh, Dark Forest as the story continues. Bye.